So the topic of today's video is area of parallelograms and trapezoids. Our objectives, I can find the areas of parallelograms and trapezoids, and I can find an unknown length of either parallelograms or trapezoids. So, just quick review, area of a rectangle is base times height, length times width, one and the same. If this is our base, this is our height. Area of a square, square we have four congruent sides so if this side is length s our area is going to be s squared and in all reality it is again just base times height if we were to think of it that way now the area of parallelogram is also base times height and you have to remember your height has to be perpendicular to your base so any one of these four sides of our parallelogram could be our base and then you just have to make sure that your height is perpendicular to that base. The area of a trapezoid is uh, one half of your height times the sum of your base one plus base two and that's where you distinguish your two bases and again the height has to be perpendicular to your bases so we'll do a few examples now so given the information find the area of parallelogram PQRS so for this one we have our side lengths 12 and 6 and we see that our height is 4 so our height is perpendicular to 12 to our side length of 12 so that's going to be our base so if we try and find our area, A equals base times height, so it equals 12 times 4, that equals 48, and label our answer, square units, even though it's written U raised to the power of 2, it's square units, not units squared. Now this one, if a, B, C, D is a parallelogram. We're going to find the height first, H, and then find our area. So you can see here we have a right triangle with our height, and this part of our base is 7 feet, and our other side length is 12. So going back to our triangle unit, we know that we can find this unknown length using Pythagorean's theorem. So H squared is equal to 12 squared minus 7 squared h squared is equal to 144 minus 49 and that is equal to 95 and to find h take the square root of both sides H is equal to 9.75 feet. So now to find our area, we have our base times height. So our area equals uh, the whole length of our base here is 17. 17 feet. And then multiply that by our height which we found to be 9.75 feet multiply that out and we find that our area comes to be 165.75 square feet so that is our area next example involves a trapezoid so we want to find the area of this trapezoid we're given our two base lengths and our height so are getting our formula for the area of a trapezoid a equals one-half times height times the sum of our bases b1 plus b2 so we'll call this b1 for now b2 doesn't really matter which one is which because you're just adding them both together. So, 
our area equals one half times five point eight meters times three point eight meters plus six meters equals one half times five point eight meters times nine point eight meters we multiply all this together comes out to be twenty eight point four two square meters so that is our area of the trapezoid okay our next example um, so if this is a trapezoid and our area is 187 square centimeters we want to find this base length which is X so we're given our other base length and our height 17 centimeters so we plug 187 square centimeters in for A in our formula so we have 187 is equal to 1 half times our height 17 times our some of our two bases 6 plus X so first we want to get rid of this 1 half so we divide by 1 half and when we divide by 1 half when you divide by fractions you can multiply by the reciprocal so we multiply both sides by 2 that comes to be 374 is equal to 17 times 6 plus x and we divide both sides by 17 and that equals we'll go over here 22 is equal to 6 plus x subtract 6 from both sides we get 16 is equal to x and that is 16 centimeters so that is our value for x okay to review area of our parallelogram just base time side just like a rectangle or square an area of a trapezoid a equals one half times our height times our base one plus base two make sure you go online do that reflection get the bonus points ask any questions you might have and we'll see you tomorrow